What's up guys, this is Sonny, back with another video and today real quick I'm making this quick video for some of you guys, you guys been asking me if you should go with like the AMD uh, X470 motherboard, the M4 motherboard or uh, AMD B450 M4 motherboard, uh, you are a bit confused. So today we'll just, you know, you know, look at both of the motherboards side to side. So I'm in Micro Center website right now and I'll compare both of the motherboard. So I have on the left hand side, I have a Asus RG Strict B450-F motherboard. One of the best uh, B450 motherboard. Uh, if you're planning on getting a B450 motherboard, I would recommend you look in at the Asus RG Strict a B450-F motherboard. And my second favorite on the X470 part, uh, the Gigabyte X470 RS Ultra Gaming Motherboard. Now I do have an unboxing video for this uh, Gigabyte X470 RS Ultra Gaming M4 motherboard you can watch on my channel. Now let's look at the main difference between both of this motherboard, okay? So if you are just planning on buying and you are confused, after you watch this video, you should be, you know, clear okay so let's just jump in so first thing you guys can see when we look at the gigabyte motherboard the x470 the bios the chipset the gigabyte motherboard does come with two bios so you have a uh, main bio and you have a backup bios now what i like about the gigabyte motherboard just because motherboard have two bios if any time you mistake and you like mess up one bios you could have another bios and then from that bios you can fix the, the the backup bias or the main bias so that's one good thing that's why I do recommend this uh, Gigabyte X470 now the second thing the main difference between uh, there's two like, like there's three things the main difference between the B450 motherboard and X470 okay so you can see memory right so in memory in B450 motherboard or B350 motherboard you can use the ECC memory Okay, order for you to use the ECC memory, you will need a X470 motherboard. So you can see B450 motherboard, you cannot use the uh, ECC motherboard. So you have to use like regular non-ECC memory, unbuffer memory supported. But on X470, you can use ECC memory, okay, non-ECC memory, extreme memory profile, of course, and unbuffer memory. So that's like the biggest difference okay if you want ECC memory you need the X470 uh, chipset now uh, if we look at the memory type you can see B450 by default like it could go up to like uh, 2666 speed and then X470 you should get a little higher memory speed so you can see by default 2933 and when you look at memory speed supported you can uh, go all the way up to 32 uh, megahertz memory on the B450 and also same with the X470 but I feel like if you care about the memory speed and the overclocking I will definitely go with X470 over uh, B450 now memory channel support both of the motherboard does support uh, dual channel now another main fact that you should always look at when you buy like a you know like a B450 motherboard or X470 now, if you are just planning on using this motherboard with like a single graphics card or like two AMD graphics card, uh, like the Crossfire, so you can see multi GPU support. If you get a B450 motherboard, you can go uh, go with SLI. You can, uh, you know, you can go with two NVIDIA graphics card and SLI both of the card if you only have a B450 motherboard but you can go all the way up to like three-way crossfire so remember that don't just buy a b450 motherboard if you're planning on going sli down the road so you can you can see x470 motherboard have two-way sli quad sli and then you have quad crossfire so with x470 you are not only getting like a better uh like you, you're not only getting like better spec you are getting a lot of stuff that b450 is not going to offer now b450 is perfect for someone who is looking to go with one single graphics card uh they don't care about like a crazy overclock or crazy memory overclock just a base you know just stick with one you know like one graphics card and just you know just build a you know nice system for gaming but your option is less with b450 compared to x470 now, uh, 
another thing if you if we look at the uh, rate support uh, you can see the b450 motherboard have three options for the rate so you have rate 0 uh, rate 1 and rate 10 now if we look at the x470 you have rate 0 rate 1 rate 5 and rate 10 also both of the motherboard does come with 7.1 uh, audio support and stuff and everything else uh, seems uh, same uh, a, both of the motherboard ATX motherboard and both of this motherboard the Asus one and the Gigabyte motherboard does come with three year uh, warranty so these are the main uh, main uh, specs you need to look at when you're planning on buying a motherboard the first one are you looking to go with SLI if you're not planning on going with SLI stick with B450 motherboard are you looking to overclock your memory you know like like the highest memory you know speed then you need to go with the x470 if you if you're not planning on overclocking your memory uh you know it's okay you can you can go up to like with b450 most of the b450 motherboard you can go up to like 3000 3200 but also depend on the memory you get you cannot get a 2666 speed memory and then uh don't just try to overclock that memory to 3200 that's not gonna happen maybe you get to like 2933 so just remember that because I use personally for my build, I have two Corsair Vengeon LPX memory. The one I have 2666 and the other one I have uh, 3000 megahertz. Now the 3000 megahertz, I can overclock that memory to 3200, but that only with Intel platform. But if I try to overclock the same 3000 megahertz memory with my uh, AMD build, I can only get to like 3000. Okay, I can go up to 3200 and also my 2666 memory. I can only over I can only X like set that XMP profile to 2666 I can overclock more than that now you need to remember that now if you want ECC memory Like if you're planning on building like a workstation and you definitely want like the ECC memory Go with X470 because B450 doesn't support that so just remember that these are the thing you need to remember when you are buying uh, motherboard like AM4 motherboard now if you're just building a gaming PC just for strictly gaming you want to go with single powerful graphics card and like an 8 core CPU and uh, you want to both of these motherboards support like 64 gigs of RAM then go with the Asus ROG Strix B450-F motherboard it's a great motherboard uh, and you can basically build a nice uh, gaming machine or workstation whatever you want to build all right guys so that should be it if you guys have any other question please leave in the comment below and uh, see you guys next one